Hey guys, it's Dave here with another LEGO Star Wars review on the Venator Class Republic Attack Cruiser. It has 1,170 pieces, ages 9 to 14 for the children, and its number is 8039, and it is of course from the Star Wars one. Um, we'll start off with the minifigures. Here we have two brand new Cine Commandos with new helmets. Same head, sadly, since in the movie it had different heads. The helmet is detailed amazingly. Got this new fin, sort of half kind of fin of a clone. New head design. There's stripes and design is great on this. Even the interior here is different. And you get two of these, which is even more awesome. Okay, next we have uh, Chancellor Palpatine. You get a face, a sort of good, rugged kind of face, just like the Clone Wars. Pretty good. Um, one sided torso, sadly, no detail on the legs. You get this side cape kind of thing for his arms, it goes over his arms kind of thing. And it is just like the Clone Wars. Next, we get a sort of boring gunner, same thing, Clone Walker Battle Pack, nothing new. It's great to have another pilot, you don't see these as much, unless you have like the shuttle or the dropship or something like that. Whew, excuse me. And so you get all the detail, and it's great. And that's about it for the minifigures. Put them off to the side. Okay, next is the vendor itself. Outside, you get the detail here. It's a sticker, sadly. You get a Republic uh, straight line. This is supposed to, like, open, and then, like, uh, uh, V-19s uh, come out, but it doesn't have that feature, sadly. It would be great if they make an Ultimate Collector series of this. Which is like huge and it's very detailed. And here we have uh, Palpatine's chair and desk, which is supposed to be in the um, Senate building, but they put it in the Venator for some reason. You get these, um, put this back down. You get these side 45 degree angle guns. If we open this again, you get these Death Star plans in this little box. Death Star plans, which are pretty cool, but I don't remember the Death Star plans being carried onto the Venator. Unless it's like maybe at the end of Episode 3 when the Dark Side rises, or the Empire rises. And then that's about it for the interior. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a little sore throat. Um, Here, we go to the side. Here you get these awesome looking turrets. They're sweet. And you get eight of these, four on each side. Swivel 360 degrees. And the guns do move. And next is the feature that's really cool. You can open this up and you pull this out. And you get this bombing feature, which is really cool. Um. Yeah, so you, what you would do is close it, take the handle, I'll show you the feature in a second, and twist. And there you go. Really easy thing. And like I said, you can take it in and out as many times as you want. Let me show you that again. You just take it up and out. Put it back on the sliders, push it in. There you go. Really easy. If we turn our attention to the side again, you get you put this flap down and you pull this out, just like that with your finger, and you get this turret. But you can take your gunner and put him in the chair. Great feature. Swivels 360 degrees, but in here you can only do it like maybe. 150 degrees and then you can push it back in it does it for the both sides so yeah and put that back in up here these are the cockpits that actually where the clones are from the clone war series uh very detailed i like the detail on them honestly did a great job over here you get this handle you take your finger and pull it up just like that it's that easy one problem with that is i'll show you that uh, the cockpit, but that's where the cock, um, the second cockpit, like the 
driving kind of a cockpit thing is and it opens up so the clone would die so that's a bad feature um that's the only con that i know of on this set so that's basically it for the sides and the front so let me turn it to the back You get these sweet looking um, engines. I mean, they're really cool. Four on each side. Great detail. Great, great detail. Um, you get these like sensors slash satellites or something like for sending out stress signals or something like that. Like I said, you get four on each side. Wasn't lying. Um, this is like sort of one thing. Next, what you can do is you can open that up, like that, show that again, open that up, and pull this out. This is an escape pod. And you just open it, like that. And you can fit, it's supposed to be Palpatine goes in there, you can fit them in there. The guns do move. And this thing is a little breakable, so be careful. Sticker, sadly. And yeah, you can open it up, see how I mean by it breaks easily. Next is, let me just show you the inside in there. There's nothing really, just where the thing goes. And then you get these little side pieces. Next, what you do is you pull up about that much and pull out, and you get this cockpit. The cockpit includes a very good detailing on the desk, but sadly it was a sticker. I thought that was real, so. This goes up and down, up and down. You go any way you want, but it's supposed to be like that. And what you can do with this. Ah, is you can take your pilot, this guy. Turn his legs and put them in there. There you go. And you just bend it over. Because the way this thing works is these latch things hold on. See how there's latch things right here? Watch how this works. So it goes in there, it slides in. And then this thing, it's best at its original degree, which is right there. Close that up. And that, there you go, that's it. So that is the Venator. It is one amazing set. The detail on it's unimaginable. Great playability. And it's worth a 9 and 10 overall with the minifigures and the set too. I mean, it's huge. It's about the size of the gunship. It's got Republic Strike color. It's got a lot of Republic color in it, like here and here and here itself. I mean, amazing detail. I have to give this almost a 10-10 practically. Great set. Only con is a little is the flick fire missiles and this side missile. That's the only cons with this set. Okay, so to end this review, we're going to show the box. So let me move the venator and bring in the box. The box is huge as crap. Like I, like you can get this at I think the leg I got this at the Lego store, and the box is freaking huge. It's got the new Lego Star Wars logo, and the huge vendor showing it can bomb drop and all that. There's all those numbers. Yeah, turn it over to the back. It just shows you how the bomb thing works, like I already showed you. And shows the other sets. I probably will be doing reviews on all of them. Yeah, I will get the water wing. Uh, I don't know. I think someone can. Michael and Jeff convinced me to get it, so I'll be getting that soon. So yeah, just shows you basically everything. Has the clear clove gloss on the box, which is nice. And that's just about it for this review. This has been Lego Boy One Two Three Five Six Seven Eight from YouTube. Bye guys.